Hello there my Stampin' Friends, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers and I have a fun fold project for you. This one is our first project in the month of July. Now this one's kind of simple. We've done this one before on my channel here but I'm doing it for my fun fold class so you can tag along. Um, it's going to be the skinny Z fold card. See it's kind of a Z fold but it's got this little turn back front piece and it allows us to really decorate multiple faces of the card. So I'm going to be using the Le Shops DSP from the current catalog. This one's kind of fun. Um, it's got different pages with different um, shops, obviously, to visit, right? This one's got the bakeries and the candy shop. This piece has all these different fun um, treats. And then there's this itsy bitsy print of all the little shops and I thought that would be kind of cool on the skinny panels here as kind of embellishment. So I'm going to be using my Balmy Blue card stock as my base and then we're going to finish it off on the project. So from start to finish I'll take you through how I prepared my pieces and then we'll put the card together. Okay? Alright, so first thing we want to do is cut our paper. So I'm going to start with my card base. So it's good to start with the base, right? So this one's going to be 8.5 by 5.5. So I'm just going to put that in here at 5 and a half and cut it. Okay, so half a sheet of cardstock. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter, so right in the middle. That's a normal score. Score, don't cut. Okay, and then this flap that folds back is uh, one and one quarter. So I'm just going to back this up. Put it in at one and one quarter, close it down, and give my second score. So just two scores on this one. Okay, so one for this flap that's going to fold back, and one for the center of my card. So that's a pretty simple base. Okay? Alright, so now for cutting our DSP. Okay, so I want to put the shop image on the front here. So I need five and a quarter by two and three quarters, and I want this shop here. I have to be strategic. So I'm going to go five and a quarter this way. And then I'm going to turn it and go two and three quarters this way. Okay, so I'm going to have my piece for right there. Then I said I did, these two pieces were going to be the mini print. And they're both an inch, so I'm going to start by just cutting an inch off of the edge here. Line that up on my paper trimmer so I get a nice straight cut. Okay, so that's going to be my skinny inch, and then I just need two of them at five and a quarter each. So I just turn it sideways. Let me bring this down so you can see a little better. Five and a quarter, and then five and a quarter. Put one for there, and another one for the front. Okay, so there and there. Alright, then on the inside, on the inside, I'm going to use the treats one, and again, I'm going to go five and a quarter. So I'm turning it sideways, so my print's going to end up going up and down. And then I want two and three quarters for the inside. Okay, so the inside panel will go there. And then I want a piece for um, the inside where I'm going to stamp on my greeting. Now, I could either flip over any one of these and use a back side if I wanted to, or I could just use um, basic white. And I'm going to use basic white. So I need five and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I'm going to go two and three quarters. And then turn it and trim it down to five and a quarter. And then I'll have my inside panel. Okay, so I think I have all the parts and pieces we need to put our project together. All right, so now. Here is my base. This one's going on the inside. This one's going on the edge. 
This one's going here. This one's going on the edge. Oh, I even like that blue. Oh boy. Choices. Choices! See? Two sides of paper. You can always flip it and do what you want, but I think I'm going to stick with the mini. And then this one's going to go on the front. Okay, so now we just have to adhere it down with your adhesive. I am using my mono adhesive or the green glue a lot of us refer to it as. And I'm just going to start putting my pieces on. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five pieces plus my card base. Okay, you, when you make your own card, can put as many of these panels on as you want or eliminate any of the panels that you want. Okay, let me see if I can get my glue started. Yikes. It's been too long since I've used it, I think. All right, so here's my inside panel. So maybe you want two inside panels to write on, so replace this one with a white one, all right? There's no rule that says you have to make every DSP panel the same as I did. This one goes there, and you just want to put this one down kind of with the same spacing as this one here, all right? Kind of make your edge um, equal on the top and the side. Here's my one inch one. That's just going to go over here to dress up this inside edge. And this one's going on the front. And remember, I make our class with DSP. That way I can send out templates with the measurements on them. I can send out uh, practice kits so you can put one together. But when you make these fun folds of your own, you can certainly stamp any of these panels as well. Or replace any of the panels with a stamped panel instead. So remember, they're your cards. You make them your way. I'm just simply showing you how to create the fold and the different layers. Okay, so see there's the blue on um, my blue base, so that really pops. And then this is what we see from the front. And then you open up and you've got that. Now I'm going to finish mine off with sentiments from the Something Fancy stamp set. And I've already die cut with my Stylish Shapes die, um, the large circle for the white, from the white. And I'm going to use Night and Navy ink, because that's a coordinating color with the papers. So I just wanted something a little darker. So for my circle, I'm doing, I didn't forget your birthday, I'm just stretching it out the celebration, which is... Um, Often the case these days at my house, I'm often sending belated birthdays, and I thought this one was kind of cute. So let's use it here. So that's going to be for the front, and then on the inside, I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. Now, if you're nervous about stamping on the inside panel, you can always stamp it and then adhere it. That way you always have two sides of your paper if you want to flip it over and try again. Okay, so there's... Nothing wrong with doing that. I do that often. Okay, so this one I'm just going to adhere with dimensionals. And what I'm going to do is put my dimensionals on my flap first. Okay, that way I'm not guessing where to put them on my, on my die cut here. And then I'm just going to put this on the front where I want it. Straight would be best. And there we go. Okay, guys, so there's our, our fun fold, our first fun fold for the month of July. And remember, you can always crease these with your bone folder to get them really crisp and clean folds. Okay, so just like that. So if you're in the class, you've received your packets probably, if I've got them out on time. You're going to have a template. Yours will look different from mine, but you will have a template with all the measurements on it. You will have your printed out tutorial. Um, you have this video now to follow along with me, and you're going to have a practice kit to make of your own. Now remember, your practice kit's made with um, designer series paper that has retired, but um, it's for you to practice and put one together, and then, you know, use it when you need to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can sign up for my fun hole class anytime. You can shop with me online. My links are below. And if you have questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them here. And remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next fun project I share. All right, guys. Do some fun stamping, and I'll stamp again with you soon. Bye-bye.